And now we're just looking at the uh, other facilities around the marina here. Ed, what are we looking at here? Yeah, here we have all the facilities which we need to build the boats. At the back end, the green sheds and the left area are the builds, uh, the holes where we do the steel building. And the right side is a big uh, chimney at the top. That's our spring booth, sandblast cabin, and all the painting works are done there. Further, we have a collection and brokerage showroom where we offer very nice uh, second-hand boats. They always are stored dry and inside, so it's even uh, very useful to take a look here in the middle of the winter. Still, the boats are presented the best possible way. Uh, over here we have production facilities. These are various sheds where we build uh, the various sizes of Lenson from 8.5 meter up to 16.5 meter. Yeah. So all sizes are available depending on where you want to go or how much uh, time you want to spend it for. Okay. So I'm just walking past here and there are three lovely Lensons on the uh, on the mooring here. Just tell us a little bit about these three boats, uh, Ed. Yeah, let's say here in the marina we have various sizes of Linson now at the moment. Uh, one of the smallest which we actually have is at the back end, it's 25. That's the smallest Linson uh, we built in the last couple of years. That's a Louise. It's 8.2 meters. And uh, it's the most compact Linson which we have available. After that we have the 29.9. It's a boat which you see completely at the back end there. You can have that with an open cockpit or with an half cabin. It's like, like the experience which you see over there. Yeah. And following in the, the row is then the 33.9. This is a boat which is here in the center of those three boats. 33.9, uh, nowadays, this is a boat which is already a few years old. We nowadays it's still build at the 34.9. Uh, we have the boat with an open cockpit and with an aft cabin. So you can have the boat with two beds and the higher steering position or like this one with only one bed in the front and the inside steering position. It's offering a lovely lev uh, living space at one level. No stairs on board, so very comfortable. Also when your hips and knees are not so cooperative anymore. <laughs> so this is your, your sedan model, I think you call this, don't you? Yeah, Which this is a sedan uh, model indeed. Yeah. Yeah, that's relatively new, and uh, so it's a sedan model as opposed to your aft cabin model, which is uh, well, one we'll come to in a minute. But yeah, uh, exactly. Tell us about the 40 footer. Yeah, let's say the, the next size, I would say, uh, let's take a look at the Mont Blanc at the back air, because that's a 36.9, so that's oh, okay. the next size on road. That's an aft cabin model, yeah. so you steer that from the aft deck, and that's a very good boat for uh, two couples, because it offers you equal space in the front of the, and the back of the boat. It's having two showers, two toilets, and two French beds. Uh, yeah, that's terrific. And a good yeah. living space in the saloon area, and a good large aft deck. Yeah, it's a yeah. very, good, very comfortable size. Only draft is the, the, is one meter. The height of the boat is uh, 2.5, so it's a very compact boat still. We are really going into the smallest uh, channels of rivers of France. Yeah. So that's a very suitable size if you really like to explore France, for example. Yeah, well that depth, uh, it doesn't sound much, 1.2 meters, but you certainly don't want to get uh, any much more than that, do you? Once you get past about one and a half meters, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, but that, that boat only does one meter. And that's a uh, one meter example on yeah. a boat of that size is fantastic. And yeah. uh, stability-wise, there's no problem at the speed you're traveling at. No, no, no. And it's still doing uh, good work at coastal waterways. It's not a boat which I would advise to uh, cross the Mediterranean or so, but uh, for coastal work and uh, the inland water work, waterway is a perfect boat uh, to use. And uh, I think I recall reading somewhere that there were something like 40,000 kilometres of navigable waterways in Europe, which is an astonishing number. So yeah. uh, if you think you're going to run out of options, uh, think again, because most <laughs> of us won't get through all that in our lifetime, will I'm, we? I'm sure about it. I'm sure about <laughs> that, yeah. Okay, so, so what's next? And the, the next in this, uh, next size up then is the 40 footer. Uh, we have the 40 footer in an half cabin version, like you see there at the other side of the marina, this Diano de Alba. And we build it also as well as a sedan version, which is the boat we're in front. Uh, yeah, yeah. With our name, Porta Fantasa over there. Those yeah. are boats, 40.9 sedan versions. Those boats already offer four beds or four sleeping places, two cabins, a shower and a toilet, and the rest of the, rest of the spill all at one level. Yeah. Nice open sliding roof, and it's a very nice boat to live on because the living area is all one level and uh, makes it a comfortable boat to lift, to sit, to look at uh, and still sufficient space which is very important of course. So I'm looking at the uh, 
at the sliding roof on this one and uh, it obviously goes way well back and opens up a lot of light and a lot of air. It's just absolutely, terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is a very uh, good element because uh, dates like today is perfect to, to, uh, to make the roof open and yeah. enjoy uh, the, the sun and the good weather uh, and coming the wind through the boat. Good. So, even when it's very hot, there are enough possibilities to open uh, windows and hatches to leave uh, the air inside. And again, you've got that, that uh, whole uh, uh, bimini area at the back which can be totally enclosed or not as you choose, depending on what the weather conditions are like. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Two. Okay, now we're looking at the 45. Uh, Here we're looking at a 45 footer. This boat just uh, came uh, back from a trip of France. It went through the inland waterways to the Mediterranean area. Uh -huh. uh, did uh, coastal passages because that's a very suitable boat for that as well. Uh, even do open sea. This one is a twin engine even. So this is a good boat to do uh, also, for example, Greece, Italy, Turkey, etc. Uh, very suitable for that. It's still just small enough to do many of the inland waterways. Yeah. The benefit of this boat is really having a huge uh, space, big kitchen, big owner's cabin. So this is really space, space, space where we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'd say, you see, it's a nice modern finished boat, uh, nice interior, good size and good quality of beds. Uh, all the kitchen equipment is available. So this is absolutely a boat to live on for long, long periods. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks terrific.